my content creation journey is nothing of note. It's nothing that could be considered inspirational or something that somebody can relate to or anything like that. It's just a person who finally realized where they belong inside of the content creation realm. And they struggled for years trying to figure out what they were supposed to be doing when it comes to content creation because there was no clear path. And even though they discovered their clear path and what they should be doing, they had no way of reaching it fundamentally. And then now that they've reached it, they've realized that there's so many people out there who have tried to do content creation that so many people don't realize the world that they're getting into when it comes to content creation. Back in 2013, I got out of the military at 50% disabled. In all actuality, I was 100% disabled, but due to uh, various decisions from my government, they decided not to give me 100% disability. Basically, they don't really care about veterans. They don't want to spend any money on veterans. Veterans have to go through astronomical events in order for them to get the right percentage that they are due from their country that they have served which is a sad topic and I think it's a topic for another time. 2014, around April, I launched Squid Head Joe, which is a YouTube channel where I uploaded gaming clips and that was from Minecraft back then. I uh, played various of games from Minecraft to Call of Duty to Halo, trying to just, you know, play games, take my minds off things. Cause again, I was 100% disabled. I was dealing with a lot mentally. Um, unfortunately, trying to get stuff while I was only at 50% dis uh, disability and the check that I was getting wherever to compensate was not enough to even live on. So I would say every month my bank account was in the negative. Um, luckily, I was able to get a game that kind of, I would say, lasted me until I was in a better position and that was Destiny. Back in September of 2014, I started uploading Destiny content and Throughout 2014, the rest of that year into 2015, I would say about summertime, I was able due to, you know, some actions that I had to take, was able to get a Xbox One and still be in the red in my bank account. You know, always getting notices that my bank account was going to be closed because I'm always in a negative. But I was able to, because of some programs and stuff out there, go to college, get a little bit extra money for going to college. I spent that on a Xbox One and then later getting a like $500 PC um just to be able to stream from but when i got the xbox one i was streaming on twitch i stopped doing the whole editing and stuff like that and mostly just focused on streaming just because i wanted to connect with people wherever and be in a safe place to be able to play video games and since i that's all i could do sitting at home is either watch youtube videos on various different topics or play video games so stack at home 24 7 that's all i did and it put a lot of strain on trying to figure out what i could get to for my setup or for doing this content creation thing because it was the only thing that i was capable of doing my dad had already passed in 2018 i was still doing things that just didn't make any sense as a content creator trying to grow i was sitting there you know playing video games streaming or wherever editing videos posting them thinking that something was going to happen something was going to come forth from doing this type of content thinking everybody does it everybody's making it or something like that i should be making it you know with the editing and the streaming and eventually something would happen the hitting my head against a brick wall wondering why nothing was happening destiny 2 was i would say the end of my career playing it i realized that hey with the death of my my father him being proud of me you know trying to do youtube and stuff like that and getting out of the military and trying my best to you know m still maintain some type of uh i would say human decency and everything with my personality and interacting with people and he just knew it was hard him being a veteran himself from uh, the marines or whatever and retiring from it was it was hard for me to, to you know to lose my father in the 2020 to 2021 my mom ended up passing away during those times it was very very hard for me i ended up going into a uh mental facility being locked up for for a little bit in there combination of everything between those two years i was able to get 100 percent disability um, when i got the 100 percent disability i had to even fight with my examiners the people that the company that actually did the examination because the people that examined me were evil they were doing everything in their power 
to make sure that veterans, even though they were contracted for the VA, to not give them that 100% disability. Again, that's to be a, another topic for another video. So when I called up the company, luckily their main branch was not located or the headquarters were not located in my state. I reported everybody that was involved and everything and somebody else actually reviewed my profile and they were like, this is, this is not right. So when they filed and they approved my 100% disability, that person reached back, I would say about a year or two back when I had already filed. That means I got a big uh, back pay. With that back pay, I was able to get the actual equipment that I needed to have to actually be a actual full-on content creator. Over the years, I realized with my bank account constantly being negative, me having to constantly get gear and work with companies or doing all the research, whatever, because again, being stuck at home 24 seven, watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos, that's all I could do. So after doing all my research, as far as content creators go, reviewing products and stuff like that, I was able to find like, this is where I was supposed to be. Mind you, like I said in the past, doing the weapon reviews and stuff like that in Destiny, being over analytical, especially, you know, with my mental disabilities, being able to discern where somebody is being actually truthful with their, their speech, their mannerisms, stuff like that, being able to profile people, especially because of my mental disabilities, I was able to discern there's a lot of fake people out there, even within the, the realm of people reviewing products on YouTube for people. Because again, I was in a precarious situation to where even before I got my 100% and all the back pay and all the money and stuff, I was only having around the hundred dollars, if that, to my name a month. I realized that a lot of people were lying about these products because I would buy it, I would suffer through the pains of having the product, and I would have to return it or just have to keep it or whatever because that's the only thing I could afford. So I was like, one day when I get the money, when I can get this equipment and stuff, I'm gonna warn people about these budget items that these other content creators are lying straight to their viewers. 2022 to 2023, that's when I started doing you know, the product reviews. And in, I think, March of 2022, if I remember correctly, that's when my very first, I would say, actual, well, somewhat scripted and done video kind of blew up. And that's where people kind of knew me from. And that's where companies started reaching out to me. And it was just about a keyboard review. And it was more of a test video. And a lot of people resonated with that video. And a lot of people still resonate with the videos that I put out on these products. Now, I do get the haters every now and then. And I've realized being in this industry, calling out companies who overprice products or wear for four content creators and a lot of, like I said, established content creators who have hundreds of thousands of subs. And I just see people defend these content creators, talk about how good these content creators are and everything like that. And I'm just like, if these people didn't know what I went through during my time or wherever and just being exposed that these people are literally lying to these people's faces when it comes to doing content creation and and doing the product reviews and these content creators are just looking to be able to capitalize on the fact that they can work with the company because they're presentable they're marketable in hopes that the company will keep on working with them they're afraid to get blacklisted and that's where i come in and that's i would think best achievement was the fact of still to this day i'm not bowing down to a company twisting my words or twisting my personality just to fit in the mold of what a content creator is supposed to be i am just being myself I'm not sugarcoating anything. I'm not changing my personality. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just being me. I'm being 100% honest. If I receive a product from a company and it's bad, I'm gonna say it's bad. And I'm gonna talk about it from a user point perspective. And if you notice, a lot of these content creators don't talk about these products that they get from a user point of view. They'll read the spec sheet that a company has sent out to them or that you can find on the company's website, on Amazon, whatever it is. And they always talk about how good the product is and how it's life changing or game changing or something like that. But when at the end of the day, you never hear anything about the negatives or actual negatives that would be detrimental to you until you purchase it. And that's the problem. I got tired of it, experiencing it myself wasting my money that I could not recoup because of the situation I was in and being lied to. And mind you, one of my triggers is humans. So when it came to my disability and trying to do things or wherever and work with other content creators and stuff, I realized this is why most of the time I just do solo content creation because there's just too many fake people out there. But yeah, that's one of my biggest, I would say, accomplishments. And one thing that I would continue to do in the future when it comes to content creation is just be me. I guess that's the only thing you can really take from this video. Just be yourself as a content creator. Don't change for anybody. Regardless if they people who want to blacklist you, don't want to work with you or anything like that. Just, just be yourself. Because at the end of the day, you're the one that's going to have to lay your head down and go to sleep and wake up and be in your own thoughts 
and deal with the decisions that you're making. Nobody else going to have to deal with that. You are. That being said, y'all take care. Have a squid day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love.